Hi, welcome back to Brooksy's Bass Corner. Today I'm going to be reviewing this Anaconda Ultra J Essence 4 string. But before I do, if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, please hit the subscribe button below, hit the notification bell, and give us a like. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the review. Anaconda Basses are based in North London and run by Andrew Taylor Cummings. This Ultra J Essence 4 string was built in 2020 in South Korea before being shipped back to Anaconda for final setup and fettling. The base comes with a durable gig bag and is priced at £1,275 including VAT. This base has a 34 inch scale length, an alder body with a single ply white perloid pickguard and is finished in a metallic purple gloss with a matching headstock. The one piece maple neck comes with a satin finish, has a 5 bolt attachment and a nut width of 40mm while the maple fingerboard has 21 steel frets and the truss rod is accessed from the headstock end of the neck. Black dot markers adorn the fingerboard with black dots along the side of the neck. The base comes fitted with two Tesla VRB1 single coil pickups and the bridge unit is positioned in the 70s jazz bridge position. The base is active with a 9 volt Kent Armstrong circuit featuring volume, pickup pan and stacked bass and treble EQ controls. The chrome hardware consists of a standard bridge with 19mm string spacing, hip shot ultralight machine heads and comes fitted with Dunlop super bright round wound strings and the base weighs in at 4.1 kilograms. Thank you. 
There's no doubting the credentials of this Super Jazz variant, and as you can hear from the audio demos, there is plenty of power and tonal variation available here. The Kent Armstrong circuitry gives the player a variable tone palette from which to pick from, so no matter what style you play or what musical style you are playing in, this example of the Essence range has all you need to get the job done. Thankfully all four controls have an effect on the sound across the whole turn of each control, so you hear the changes of tone immediately. The bass weighs in at a sturdy 4.1 kilograms, but the instrument balances well on and off a strap, and overall the bass is very comfortable to wear and play, with contouring front and back and easy access to the upper reaches of the 21 fret maple fingerboard. The bass certainly looks the part, the metallic purple gloss over the older body and matching headstock is a head turner, while the purloid scratch plate rounds the visuals off nicely. The bass resonates very well while the level of sustain is very apparent. The satin maple neck with its shallow D-shaped profile, 16 inch neck radius, 40 mm nut width and 19 inch string spacing all add up to a neck that is immensely playable and will coax you back to the instrument time and again. The electronics package is a fine pairing, well voiced to get the most out of the bass and the quality hardware is the icing on the cake. There is much to recommend this bass on and despite considerable competition at this price, I can't see any player buying this bass being disappointed as it is an excellent all rounder with plenty of juice in the tank. If you enjoyed the video please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you next time here on Brooks's Bass Corner.